Hi guys, in this video I will show you how I am performing one process to upload 26, 27 million of rows to my database, my database from a CSV file. Here is my CSV file, you can see here 27 million of rows, here is a little Sorry, I don't know how to say this word. A little um, muestra, a little um, little sample. Basically, I I using one big creator CSV file. This is the program, big CSV file editor. With this program, I can load my big CSV file. But this is not important. The important is how I can upload this CSV file. What tool I am doing? What library? The library is DAS. DAS is a tool, a library, Python library, to perform parallel computing. You can see here a, song, a little description. It's an open source library. That performs parallel computing. It can auto scale from local machines from many cores to big cores or clusters distributed in the cloud. Okay, guys, here is the proof. You can see here how many rows I am now. I have inserted this, this tool. This tool has inserted 1,933,000 What are you going to date? Now you can see here 4 million of rows and I need 27 million This is amazing guys I couldn't do it using pandas I found one example in a Stack Overflow I use this example, but using pandas to read my CSV file was very hard memory consumption. And this example for me didn't work it. What worked for me was using using DAS. Now I'm going to show you the code how you can do, use this tool to, to perform this task of doing one CSV file to a MySQL database. Here's the code. To prevent problems, okay guys, first we, I import this library. And then I do some tasks like get the time and print the time. After that, I have loaded this, this CSV file. I use this method, real CSV. But it's important that you describe, you need to specify the types of your columns. In my case, all my columns, my column contents were of strings. It's important to specify this or you will get some errors. Okay, guys, it's important. Here you can see the code, this metadata frame. I, I couldn't load this data frame here. I, I, I mean, I needed, I never opened this variable inside of Spider. I, I am using Anaconda. If I open this variable, the program will crash. To prevent that, I don't do that. I don't, I don't need to do that because it will, will throw problems. And I left that. Okay, I just execute this row, this cell. Then, this is not necessary. This is not necessary because DAS has one implementation to connect to our database. We need to specify our URI or URI. Here is the URI to perform the connection to the database. Here is my 
URI connection. Now I have executed this and the task, the task is being doing. I pass, I call my data frame to is SQL. I pass some name for the table. This table will be created. In this case, the name is persons, sorry, persons, and uh, this is the URE, and I pass this constant, if exists, replace the name of the table, index equals false, and then I am printing the some messages when it finished, when it finished, we'll throw the time consumed. But now the task is being performed, you can see here. Of this way you can you can insert a big CSV file in, in your database, guys. I'm going to update. You can see here. 400, 4 millions of rows, I'm going to update. Now I have 6 million, 6 million, guys. Amazing. And this task probably using pandas never 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 happen but with that is possible i will encourage you to use this tool and try guys try it and tell me how how you do it and if work it or not work not work it that's it guys see you soon uh, happy coding. Goodbye.